sometimes you might need to use a little bit of scripting in your workflows. Let me show you some of the nodes that can help you do that. Let's take as an example a really common operation, filtering rows. Now, if we were to use the standard nine row filter node to do this, let's say I wanted to return from my records age less than 45. Okay, that's the standard way to do that. But as an example of our scripting nodes, what if I wanted to do that using an R snippet? I could use R to write a little bit of R code here. Of course, this could be a much more sophisticated script as you might imagine. I can evaluate the script even within the node itself to make sure the syntax errors aren't there and get something that returns properly. Note that to use the R snippet node, you need to have R installed separately on your machine from Nime and point Nime over to that R home. Now, what most people are probably gonna use is the Python scripting node. Now, if we want to include this here, one of the really nice things, if, if I don't know how to write this code or if I'm just a little rusty on my Python, I can actually use Kai and I can provide in plain language return rows with age less than 45, and it's actually gonna give me that code back. You can actually already see it generated here at the top. Insert that, execute, and I'm off to the races. One more node that we have here is the expression, in this case, row filter node, where again, I could write using the nine expressions, a similar script to be able to do that. Again, I can ask Kai within this dialogue as well. So these last two options actually provide uh, the additional support that you need, again, if you're a little bit rusty on your script writing. But all of these different nodes ultimately get the same answer. The choice is up to you as to what you want to use.